Hi, Mike Wolentinowitz. Jane Kedron. Uh, we're here. Uh, we want to uh, give you a little more of our story about things that have happened to us uh, since August 30th, uh, 2012, when we purchased this home here at 24 Goring Avenue in Chippewa, New York. Uh, at the time we purchased this home, it was affordable, humble, and absolutely perfect property for a senior disabled couple. I want to make that perfectly clear to everyone that this home is absolutely perfect for us. And that's why we purchased it. Uh, we never saw planes, trains, or trucks before we moved in and for six months or more after we moved in. And then it was bam. Yeah, we got hit hard. We have idling uh, tractor trailers coming at all time of the day and night uh, saying that they could sleep here. Now, when we first started, when we first noticed this, the town of Chikawaga, the police were great. They'd come in and remove these trucks because they knew they had no right or business being there. It was against I, the law. We actually asked them, and they removed them immediately the first several times that it happened. And then it became all part of their pretending, too. And then, and then after this kept going, then we got airplanes illegally flying out of their flight path. And I bring up the airplanes because I'm a, a citizen and a taxpayer of Chikawaga, New York, and I'm getting sick and tired for every form of government to allow the school children at Chikawaga Central School on Union Road to have airplanes low and slow flying over their school at all times of the day poisoning them with jet fuel particulates. I'm sick of it. I've had enough. This has to stop. We are not in the flight path over here. And and this is why you know it's a governmental thing, because how else could they illegally fly airplanes low and slow over residential neighborhoods without governmental protection? There's no way they could do it. Miles no. away from the airport. Remember, we did a video. We showed you it's quieter by the airport than it is by our house. The letters that we have from the FAA state, the only time we should see or hear an airplane over where we are on 24 Goring Avenue is in an emergency situation. Yet, every day, all day, NFTA in Buffalo Airport, Southwest, Frontier, JetBlue, FedEx, UPS are flying these airplanes low and slow where they don't belong. Mm -hmm. And they're poisoning school children, and I am sick and tired of it. And making sure they're low enough to make as much noise as possible as they fly over us and every morning to wake us up. It, it, and then if that's not good enough, they bring the semi-tractor trailers in to do it. And there's no reason for tractor trailers to be delivering in a residential neighborhood. Remember, there are laws that are supposed to be protecting people just like us that were written for this type of situation that they're completely ignoring and pretending don't exist here. When Jane went uh, to the town, Chikawaga town, to address her concerns, uh, she was told by Rogowski that they're allowed. And that they're grandfathered in. So they're... Rogowski told us from the town of Chikawaga that, that these companies are allowed to break the laws and codes of the town of Chikawaga. According to Adam Schiff, a United States senator, that no one, Congressman, sorry, no one in the United States is above the law. And that includes these criminals that are attacking us on a daily, daily basis. The town of Chikawaga has no right to say who can and cannot break the law. These are traffic violations, these are pollution, clean air laws, and basically human rights violations Zoning. that are perpetrating against us on a daily basis. We've had I trouble sick of it. with lawyers, we've had trouble with the post office, we've had trouble with utility companies, we've had trouble with anyone that was supposedly out there to service us. There is no way this happens to, oh, and of course the fraudulent pretend sale of our home. Of our home. That never, obviously there was never a sale, but that's how they got us out of our house to flood it and cause all this other chaos in our lives. Our point And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, the only thing I have is my big mouth. I'm four foot ten and maybe 90 pounds. All I have is my mouth. 
No, I am not a violent person, but gosh darn it, aren't you sick of being treated like a piece of shit? Uh, you would be. Yeah, and this, this is also, it, it, for us to have these crimes perpetrated against us, if we've done something wrong, we relish, we relish our day in court. Come here, Chief Dwaga, the federal government, the FBI, arrest us. We want our day in court. We Do, deserve our day in court. We deserve our day in court. Instead of just trying to make it look like we're crazy yeah. and violent, yeah. how about just doing your jobs? Yes, that was a good one. 